Hey, traders. Uh, thanks to everybody for all the likes and all the uh, good comments and stuff I've heard about my videos. I appreciate it. Uh, I get a lot more stuff from the Discord and the uh, uh, Slack rooms. Uh, but uh, you guys from the Twitter, you know, you're more than welcome to um, you leave me some good comments and stuff. So uh, basically what we had going on yesterday, uh, despite the fact the bonds were selling down most of the day yesterday, we had a big rally, uh, a short squeeze rally type thing in the ESs and NASDAQs. We had a, a bit in the overall markets. Uh, so we basically crossed over very critical support yesterday. It was a technical bounce, in my opinion. Uh, we seem to be failing early based off of my analysis, okay? So that suggests to me the bonds are continuing to go lower. We're right at very critical support on the bonds. Uh, what's been going on with the bonds, it was such a crowded trade, plus what's going on with Israel. It gave the opportunity for a slight relief rally to the down pressure and the bonds. Uh, but I am still looking for 6% short-term yields here in the uh, uh, CDs. So uh, actually, I got a lot of money of my mother's waiting. For it to lock in over six percent, uh, you know, I've got a uh, money markets right now, but I'm going to roll it into CDs over six percent whenever we finally get there. And uh, but basically, the bonds to me have not put in put in an exhaustion sell off yet. Uh, but I don't know; I could be dead wrong. Only time will tell. So, uh, so basically, on the on the markets themselves, uh, uh, the VX futures are below the pivot. So, you know, you have to be a little bit careful, you know, if you're looking for the downside here, because we haven't even crossed back over today's pivot in the overnight session, you know, uh, so be mindful of that. Uh, we are just getting a slow bleed lower in the overnight session. Um, I'm thinking since we've, we've turned, we started selling off and we're coming down, I'm thinking that the bears are, have a slight edge this morning looking for a complete retrace of yesterday's move. So that's my primary thinking this morning. The only thing that bothers me with that, I would have loved to have seen uh, the VX futures at or above the pivot for that theory. So, um, you know, got a little bit, uh, a few little things there that's not kind of jiving very well. So, uh, but that's my primary thinking this morning that, you know, we're probably going to get most, if not all, of yesterday's move, give it all back today. So let's let's keep an eye on that. That's my primary thesis. But honestly, I thought we uh, my two main targets, like on the S, uh, the Nasdaq, I thought with this rocket move here, we would have definitely come. This is our main resistance on the Nasdaq, and we did not get up into that yesterday. We came into the fifty percent retracement from uh, uh, all time highs and rejected. Typically, a bear market rally. This is the area you look for a uh, the end. Of, of the move so far they're holding it in there but you know great the heart of earnings season has not hit yet you know the, you know the nasdaq is completely disproportional to the rest of the market you're just looking at stocks like boeing looks like it's in free fall uh you're looking you know and you, the banks are just not catching any type of bid you're not catching you know you're getting a little relief rally in stocks like pfizer pfizer Friday looked like Pfizer put in a uh, a uh, exhaustion uh, sell off uh, signal. So uh, I was watching the uh, I was watching that one yesterday. Uh, where's it at here? Let me pull this over here on my screen. Sorry, I got my notes on my chart. Why is that doing that? I don't want to keep going. -E. Let me hide my notes real quick. Give me a second. There you go. And uh, so Pfizer, you know, what I was looking at here, I'm going smaller time frame, you know, that looks like an end of day exhaustion sell off. And we came in uh, yesterday, had a really good day on Pfizer yesterday. Now, I don't know how long it's going to take it to get out of the mess that it's currently in. Pfizer has been in one massive downtrend. You know, massive, massive downtrend. To me, there's a really good odds that Pfizer's putting in a bottle, in my opinion. Very good odds, especially if you look at stuff like Lily. Look at Lily. Look what it's doing. 
you know, now these are similar companies. Not the exact, but similar. And look at what Lily's doing. Holy shit. <laughs> you know? And, and uh, you know, so uh, this thing here just smoking hot. Massive gaps below us, you know? And uh, it's just, just smoking hot. So, uh, and then as far as the healthcare field in general, we have, the Uncle Sam hasn't pulled any money back away from the COVID spending on healthcare. Uh, to just keep it keep they could just keep it going, you know. And so uh, I think United Healthcare could very well be a uh, let's keep a really close eye on United Healthcare. Uh, it's probably going to start coming back in here. Uh, we had a really good earnings popped it up. We might start seeing some sell side. We're breaking support as we speak on the Nasdaq. Uh, other things I'm looking at here. Uh, early on this morning, I saw a sell signal on Apple. Let me go over here on the five minute. So getting some sell side action. We found out yesterday the news. iPhone sales in China aren't doing very well. Okay. Uh, this is three year resistance, not support. Three year resistance. Okay. So, you know, down in this area is not, uh, is not, uh, a, you know, uncalled, uncalled for. So, you know, granted, we're holding above the resistance at the moment, but I'm just saying, you know, uh, just be mindful. Uh, a move, we're, see this downtrend we're currently trading in, you know, uh, coming right back down. See this yellow line, you know, coming right back down into this 176 area is not unheard of here for Apple. Uh, so I want to definitely keep that on, on watch for you guys. Microsoft, I had a really good day on Microsoft yesterday. Uh, I saw the setup uh, early yesterday morning. I wrote it uh, for the initial uh, pop right up in here. Right here's right about here is where I got out. I got into these prior highs. That's where I got out and it kept going after that. And it's already below, currently trading below where I got out yesterday. Uh, definitely complete 100% retrace possibly all the way down here to the uh, what time point is that? Three, three twenty nine seventy area, three twenty nine seventy possibly here from Microsoft. Uh, Bank of America just reported we do have retail sales coming out. Initially, Bank of America is catching a bid this morning. How's that doing for XLF? XLS catching a pop this morning, so uh, that might actually help J P Morgan as well. Let's see what? Nope, nothing for J P Morgan. J.P. Morgan got smoked. That that was a horrible, horrible candle for J.P. Morgan. Uh, I think Goldman Sachs is still reporting today. They may not be out yet. If they, if, you know, Goldman Sachs might be doing a J.P. Morgan here. So I wouldn't get too excited about that whole Bank of America <laughs> uh, city. It's actually down. Wow. Uh, Wells Fargo had some pretty good numbers. Uh, uh, they're, not, they're not moving right now. So basically, Bank of America is bringing all the financials up, it looks like right now. And always keep in mind on, on your KRE here. KRE has not been doing very well. Uh, going to daily. You know, KRE, you know, this is not, uh, you know, uh, we're getting a higher high there, possibly. Yeah, I don't really like this. Uh, KRE looks like it's going to go lower to me. You know, see, this is your primary support down here. Yeah, just it looks like a bear flag. It looks like a bear flag. We broke support. Looks like we're coming down for the double bottom. Look, not looking good at all on KRE. Uh, other things I want to look at here. Uh, uh, I did have a nice little uh, scalp trade on TD, uh, the trade desk yesterday. Uh, the uh, CEO came in, sold a bunch of shares yesterday. Uh, so I went and took a short on that and managed to come out pretty good on that one. And uh, uh, another one, uh, other ones. I'm keeping a close eye on Adobe because Friday we really had some brutal sell side action on Adobe. So these ones that that Friday did had a real had those really bad candles. Uh, this thing here might be uh, rolling, uh, preparing to break. So I'm keeping a really close eye on Adobe. Uh, um, uh, so actually, yeah, it was actually pretty bearish there. Uh, for the most part, uh, see so that was Monday. Yeah, so I, I actually was looking for the breakdown. I'm actually going to put an alert on that one. I'll come back to that after the video is done. I'm looking for, you know, uh, breaking yes uh, yesterday's lows on Adobe as a short. So keep a, keep a really close eye on that one. Adobe, Adobe possibly short. Um, 
and anything else that I can mention real quick. Uh, we got Tesla reporting, so I don't trade it. The uh, options are way too expensive. Okay. We're trading right at this three-year critical resistance level. Okay. Critical resistance, not support. Critical resistance. So your bias should be technically to the downside on a Tesla. So be mindful of that. These higher interest rates are going to have a direct impact on Tesla. Although because of all the strikes and everything going on, it's in the long run, the longer these strikes go on, it's obviously going to be more supportive for the Tesla shares. Um, other, other than that, we got Netflix reporting. I, as I said in my last video, I think, think I mean, honestly, we might be heading to 308. Uh, I'm not saying on this earnings season, but, uh, you know, I have to go on the daily to see it, but uh, I don't have it going out right right now. But 308 kind of where I'm targeting here on uh, uh, Netflix. And uh, let's see here. I actually should have a link on this. Sorry. Uh, I shouldn't have those studies on there. And then uh, other things. Uh, da, 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 da. I don't like Amazon where it's at. I don't like trading it right here. Just don't like trading Amazon right where it's at. I think it's in a really big chop area. Uh, you know, actually, we're, you know, we're on the bearish side of trend. We push right back above it. I mean, I'm, I'm not a big fan. You know, uh, we actually fill most of that gap. I can actually get rid of most of this gap from. Uh, you know, I can change my charts. I haven't updated that chart yet. Uh, <clears throat> Meta's doing very good. Uh, I actually tried to do a short on that yesterday. Learned my lesson on that real quick. Uh, Matt is, was quite constructive. You know, we had this really bad candle Friday. Came right more than half the way back. Still looking very bullish on Meta. So yeah, anytime you trace more than 50% of a, re a very bad candle, you you got to stay away from the short side. You know, uh, just be m very mindful. It's a simple, r simple rule to stick with Google. Uh, more than 50%. Very bullish. You want to stay away from the short. Uh, uh, which other ones? NVIDIA. See, we didn't get 50. We just barely got 50% of that candle. So this is actually more bearish. If you go on the 20-minute uh, here, see see what's going on here? So we, the this afternoon range lows, we broke the view up, you know, very, this is a very high odds that we're going to be coming down to this. Uh, was it 354 450? That looks like a very high odds scenario. 45450 on NVIDIA, AMD. Uh, AMD, I was looking for the short side yesterday, but it had a nice rally. Let me look on the daily chart real quick. See the candle, it was it was actually rallying pretty good, so it may not be valid anymore. Uh, we we, we poked above over 50% of the candle. We close right at fifty percent. That one there's, that's a little iffy on that one. Um, so, in my in my opinion, that one there just just a little bit iffy on that one. Critical support down here. It held support yesterday. Uh, I was looking for a move back down to here, the one oh one hundred four area. I was looking for a back, back test of the one hundred four. We didn't get it yesterday. We might get it today. Looking for a back test of the one hundred four on AMD. Okay, uh, getting a little bit long. My video already longer than I wanted. Please uh, follow me on Income Trader on YouTube. Uh, uh, I'm on uh, Twitter, gumby 9662 c uh, I have a Discord room, and uh, you know I, I have a Slack room. If anybody wants to join our groups, uh, just DM me, and uh, I'll uh, I'll see that you're in the groups. And we do have a live Zoom fee feed every day. It's all free. Uh, I call my trades out. A few other people in the in the in the rooms, the Discord and the Slack rooms, they're actually calling their trades out live, and we don't charge anything. We're all there to help each other out. We're not we're not our opportunists from you know trying to hurt other people on their uh, you know uh, take money from them. Just you know we're out to hear ideas and see if those ideas fit our project uh, perspectives and see if we can jump in because I'm constantly taking other people's ideas. Uh, you know, and because, but yesterday I was on it, you know, I was actually calling Microsoft out. I was in, in Microsoft within 30 seconds of the market open yesterday, and I kept adding really good trade on Microsoft. Then I, I also had a, tra a trade set up for uh, the trade desk that I, you know, it worked out perfect. And uh, so uh, I had really two really good trades yesterday. 
And, uh, you know, those were the ones I called out. Now, I also called out Pfizer. Early on, it was just barely up 2% at the time. I was calling out Pfizer for, you know, to go long. And, and it got up over 4%, I think, at, at least at some point. Uh, it may have been more than that for the day. But Pfizer, I think, turned out to be one of the biggest movers yesterday to the upside. So I called, I called the two biggest things. So you're more than welcome to come in the group.